jobs. And then I was thinking about the, um, the nail kit here that I had. And while I was looking at my nails, I'm thinking, oh, I should have, you know, uh, filed my nails and fixed them a little bit, especially now I have a meeting, board meeting. And then I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm so lucky that I am no longer a nail technician. And I was thinking, you know, like half of it was okay and then the other half was horrible. So the good half, let's start with that, is doing actually hands, um, manicures. Um, that's the, the fun part and, you know, clean part normally, um, unless you do a guy. That was fun, you know. Normally, you know, people's hands are clean, uh, don't have fungus. That that was like my biggest fear. I was horrified by fungus. I hated it so much. Um, and uh, then, uh, well, this is the reason why I got into this um, to start with. I mean, part of the reason. You know, because it seemed fun, it seemed that, you know, I make money, I do something girly, that's, you know, so nice, you know, like, you know, shooting two birds with one stone, uh, and uh, it was fun doing nails when I started and did, you know, uh, the manicures and stuff, um, I was slow, I was shaky, um, I wasn't confident, and, uh, you know, through my jobs, I, I went through different jobs, different nail uh, salons, I, I got hired by different nail salons and I gained experience, it wasn't easy, you know, moving, jumping from one salon to another and, you know, um, quitting for one reason or another or just, you know, moving places because I wasn't stable, um, I was staying in rent at that time. Until I started, until they gave me the, um, they gave me uh, um, uh, the task to do pedicures or you know feet. If you don't know what pedicure means, um, if you're coming from Middle East or like you know in your country they don't do that. Whatever. Um, so then most women. Not most, but maybe half, half. I'm not sure. You know, like my memory now is like because I, I never um, remembered about the horrifying experiences I went through. I didn't. I didn't. You know, like bring them to my mind and remembered about them. So maybe that's why I don't really remember. But like you know, they crossed my mind from one time to another. fungus some don't know it's fungus but the thing is the smell the look the color on your nail bed I mean all of these signs I mean they are not they weren't blind and they weren't like they they had just noses they could smell the the disgusting smell of the fungus because by the way fungus does smell it stinks and it has like some discharge, like uh, greenish pistachio color with like, you know, white yellowish, depends um, on how, you know, old is the fungus, how long it's been under the nail bed without, you know, being treated. And one day, one night, I think it, it was like evening, anyways, so this older lady came and it's not like, you know, so I have to say that so you don't think oh maybe she was poor poor lady works hard hard-working lady you know feeding her children and you know she wanted to treat herself no that wasn't the case she was and I knew exactly what she was doing because uh, my boss the, the manager of the uh, salon uh, knew her because she was her neighbor um, she had a jewelry store right beside the nail salon 
So, and she owned it. Not like she was working there, no, she owned it. She was an Asian older lady that owned the jewelry store. So she was rich. Had, wasn't working hard. Was sitting on her ass all day long selling jewelry. Okay, so just to get that out and clear. And she came, took off her shoes, and I wish she never did. I wish. But you know what? No, actually, you know what? Now thinking, giving it a second thought, that was a good thing because that gave me a huge motive to change careers. She had a really old fungus, never been treated or touched ever. And I am assuming by looking at it because we studied about fungus, you know, I went to college, beauty college, we studied about skin, we studied about, um, you know, nails and stuff like that, and, you know, the basic things, only things that are related to the career path, not like, you know, we're not nurses or anything, estheticians, that's what they call it. And uh, it was smelling, Her, she was fat. Um, and I'm thin and I had to carry she had no mercy yet. She let me carry the weight of her fat big leg And I had to do the fungus and clean it and cut it and the nail bed was so thick That the nail uh, clipper um, it Either broke or didn't work and I had to bring something else. I remember something like that and I, I remember I, I stood up and I left. I said, excuse me, I'll be right back. And I went to my boss and I said, I can't do it. I can't. And I thought, I like, I kept thinking during what, during the service, I'm gonna quit. Right on that spot, right then and, 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 and on the spot. But then I thought, oh, I'm gonna be jobless. You know, I need the money. Know, I have rent to pay, you know, the groceries to buy, whatever. And I finished it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm almost crying because now remembering about the, the, that um, situation, it, it was horrible. And, you know, I have no hate to that woman, but, you know, like, if she was hard working she was you know like an immigrant she wasn't apparently she she was born here and like she had no accent and so she had education people here they have education they have better um, uh, you know knowledge about health and stuff um, she had the means she had the, the funds to treat herself and still instead of going to a foot clinic she decides to uh, to go to a spa and uh, you know torture the poor immigrant uh, you know poor girls there and, uh, and and you know what she didn't even tip like she did tip but not much like for for the horror that i witnessed i think maybe she gave five dollars or something i mean and you know what i'm poor and I give five dollars to a beggar I see on the street. And uh, like, you know, some people are just, uh, just not, not, not good people. I just wish that lady, you know, like watches this video and, and recognizes herself and treats herself and never ever go to a nail salon and torture these poor immigrant girls. Um, with her disgusting fungus um, first go to a foot clinic get treated and then visit the nail salon please okay just do that it's simple and you're winning you know you're treating yourself and also the poor girls will not be tortured by you so stay safe everyone um, remember to wash hands and uh, I'll see you in a different video, hopefully.